Okay, welcome back. So this time we're going to look at how to change the order equations into different forms and, and a little bit about why you'd want to do that. So what is the usefulness of, of the order equations in, in different forms and, and in some cases you want to emphasize different aspects, so conservation properties for example, or we might want to look at how things change as you move along and follow the fluid. So this is a Lagrangian kind of approach. Um, so different ways of writing the equations tell us different things and give us different insights into how the fluid behaves and are, and are useful in different contexts. So um, particularly when we try and solve these equations uh, computationally, um, some of the equations are, are more suitable or you know, easier to solve in some, some cases than others. And it's useful just to go through and, and introduce some of the concepts about things like, uh, like advective derivative, um, which are, are useful just in, in understanding what fluids, how fluids behave. And so here, this is, this is all about, uh, so forms, there's forms of the order equation. And so the Euler equation is a, a fairly simple set of three equations for the mass, momentum and energy of, a, of our fluid. Um, we made a number of assumptions, some of which we discussed uh, previously, so things like the adiabatic assumption that we assume there's no heat flow in the, in the fluid. Um, and so the, all the energy transfer is either through motion of the fluid from one point to another, um, or through pressure, so work being done um, on the fluid. Um, in addition, there can be other terms like, like heat flow, um, but for now we've, we've neglect, neglected them. Um, and so the equations we've ended up with are um, equations for the mass density rho. Uh, so we have divergence of rho u. Uh, so rho here is the mass density, uh, u is the flow velocity, um, and we have the momentum equation. So rho u, which is the momentum density, is rho u. Um, and here we have a divergence of momentum flux, rho u times u. Um, and if you remember, this is uh, this is a, essentially three equations written out, one for each component of, of the of the momentum. And so you can think about this as being rho u x advected by by u. So u in the x direction advected by motion of the fluid in in x y or z. Um, and this is equal to uh, so the gradient of of the pressure. So p here is is pressure, and the rho like this is the the mass density. Um, and then we have an equation for the, the energy of the system, so energy density. Um, here we have a divergence of, and here we, it's quite convenient to write it in this form, so E plus P U zero. Um, so here there would be other terms like, like heat, flu heat flux. Um, and so we're starting from this, this form of the Euler equation, so I'm going to show how it can be written in, in different forms. Um, so here, sorry, I'll write out what E is. So E, for an ideal monatomic gas, um, E is just 3 over 2 times the pressure um, plus the kinetic energy of the, of the fluid, the kinetic energy density. So it's half rho u squared. So it's the internal energy and the, the kinetic energy of the fluid. And so now we can we can start by manipulating this, this momentum equation and writing it in a slightly different form. Um, I'm going to split it up into, into pieces and try and get an equation for u by itself. So there's a few tricks here that we'll, we'll see again and again. Um, most it's, it's changeable, but just written in, in slightly different ways occasionally. Um, okay, so here we just write this very simply as this is just rho du by dt. So here I'm just taking, I'm just taking this equation, the momentum equation, I'm going to split it up into, into pieces, so I have this uh, plus u uh, d rho by dt. Um, now I'm going to take the second term, i use a different colour for this, so I have a second term here. Um, and here I'm going to split it up, again split it up into, into pieces. Um, so what I want here, so here I want, uh, I can take u on the outside here. u times the divergence of rho u, you get that bit, plus rho u dot grad u. So it's just splitting up this, this term here into, into two pieces. Um, and you can think about this as, as equations for, for u in, in each direction separately, so you can think about this as, as being ux, uy, uz. Um, essentially this 
u dot grad is grouped together as a derivative in the direction of u. If that makes it easier to, to understand, it's a bit. Um, and then, of course, the, the grad p just, just stays as it is. Grad p. Okay, so now we can group together some of these terms. So we have a, a parts here involving u. So here we have a u dp, d rho by dt, and a u divergence of rho u. Um, and here we have another term here involving what we wrote at the beginning. So I'll just group together these two terms here. So this is, uh, this is just u on the outside. And then here I'm going to have d rho by dt um, plus this part, plus divergence of rho u. And now this is just the first Euler equation. So this is just the equation for the mass density you see up here. And we know that this is just equal to zero. And so this whole thing just goes, goes away. And so all that's left over is this term here at the beginning and this term over here. And so what we end up with is an equation which is just rho. Then here I'll again group these, these together. So we have a du by dt uh, plus this term over here. So we have a u dot grad u. Um, and this is equal to minus grad, grad p. P is the pressure. Okay, so that's manipulated the, the momentum equation. So this is the momentum equation. Uh, this is in this is primitive form. Primitive form of momentum equation. So now we've got the momentum equation, we can look at the, the energy equation. So we have at the moment the energy, so dE by dt, uh, plus divergence here of, of E plus P on U uh, equals zero. So that's the, the conservative form we derived before of the energy, uh, where this E is the, is the internal energy, three over two, so that's pressure, plus well, the kinetic energy density, rho u squared. Um, and now we can, we can split this up and we can work out an equation for, for p, for the pressure. Um, and so this is a little more involved, but, but it's pretty much the same process. So we, we can have d by dt, we can divide up into, into two components. So we have a d by dt of three over two times, times p, uh, plus d by dt of half row u squared. Um, and now we have all these components here. So E here is going to give us two components and P is going to give us another one. Um, so if I try to uh, to label these a bit. So here we have divergence of, um, again from the E, this first component here. So we have three over two P times U. Uh, plus the second component, which gives us a divergence of uh, half rho u squared on u, um, plus this component here from, from p. So this is going to be just unchanged. So this is p u. And this whole thing is equal to zero. Uh, okay, so again, we, we can group things together. So we have, uh, for example, this component here which is just the pressure. This is what we want to calculate at the end. This is d by dt of, of pressure. Um, here we have a term just involves pressure and, and u. And here again, we have another component. Um, so these components are going to end up in the, in the final equation. Um, it's these components here where we have, a, have half row u squareds. Um, these are a little more tricky. Um, and these ones, we're going to need to, to work out what they are. So this part, um, so this we can say is, this is d by dt um, of, we can take out, say, the, the rho. So we can write this as d by dt of rho um, times a half, uh, half u squared uh, plus rho times d by dt of a half u squared. So I'll split this into two. 
Uh, and then if I take the, this term over here, so this term, um, we can again write it in, in two pieces. So we take out the half u squared from inside. Um, and so this is, uh, this is a half uh, u squared times divergence of, of rho u. And you see we're starting to get pieces which look like, like in, like the density equation, or eventually look like the momentum equation as well. Um, we can start to see pieces emerging here. Okay, now we have plus, and here we expand out this. So we have a, a row u, and we have a, a gradient of half half u squared. Okay, so now we just want to try and group these terms together. So we'll take everything involving just p's and u's, these these terms here. Um, and we're going to group them together. So we have a d by dt of 3 over 2 times pressure, so just from here. And then these two terms are essentially the same. So we have a, a 3 over 2 p and then a, a just a pu. So this we can group together. So this is just a 5 halves um, divergence of pu. And then we can group together these two terms here. We have a half u squared we can take out as a common factor. Um, so here I'm going to write down, so this is a half, uh, half u squared. And it's just this first term from here, d rho by dt. And then get, get the second term from, from here. So we have a plus divergence of rho u. Uh, you can see this is just the, the mass equation. So the mass density equation from was one of our Euler equations. Uh, and then we can take the, the second term, so here we have a, a density we can take outside. So we have a rho, and we have a d by dt of a half u squared, that's u squared, um, plus this term here, so plus, uh, plus u dot grad a half u squared. And the whole thing is just equal to zero. Okay, so first of all, it, we can just notice that this is, because this is the mass density equation, um, this goes to zero. This all cancels out to zero. This is starting to look a bit like the momentum equation, um, and particularly the, the velocity equation that we, that we derived. Um, but we need to do a bit more manipulation to try and work out how that, how that works. Um, so what we can do is we can just say that d by dt of a half, half u squared. Uh, all this we can just write out is, is d by dt of a half u dot u. Uh, and again, just doing chain rule on this, um, very straightforward to see that this is just u dot du by dt. Um, and in the same way, this, this here is just a derivative so this works in the exact same way. So we have um, have the u dot grad uh, half u squared. Uh, this is just equal to to u dot and u dot grad here is the the derivative u dot grad of of u. So this whole thing this just expands out with with chain rule in exactly the same way. You just get a, get this this coming out of here. Um, and the half cancels because you have a u and a u, uh, and so you end up with two terms, both of which are the same. Um, okay, but now this, this allows us to write this term um, as something which looks much more like the, the momentum equation. Um, so if I just write out uh, what terms we have, so we have so d, uh, so 3 over 2, dp by dt, so it's just coming from this term here, um, plus Five halves divergence of of pu from, from this term here. This term is gone, and now we have a, a row, and this is giving us a u dot du by dt um, plus. And now here we have a u dot u dot grad u. whole thing is just equal to zero. Okay, so now if you look at the um, 
at the momentum equation, this is starting to look very similar. So we have this extra factor of u dot beginning. So here we could actually take this out as well. So we could take this whole thing out. Um, and this would be this whole thing is just rho u <coughs> dotted with, with these factors. So here we have a d u by dt um, plus u dot crowd u. So you can just take out this, this factor of u from the beginning. It's just the dot product here. Uh, now if you look at this, this term here, um, you can see that that is the same as this term here. So rho times this du by dt plus u dot ground u is equal to minus gradient of pressure. And so we can just substitute that into, into this equation. And so this, this part here, um, so we have a rho and times this term it gives us a minus gradient of pressure. So this is just minus u dot grad p. Okay, so this whole thing, so this whole thing just becomes uh, 1 over rho times gradient of pressure. The rows cancel out, so you end up with a u dot dot grad p. And you might notice this is, this is basically work being done, <clears throat> or work per second, because um, it's a velocity and this is a, a force. Um, so it's related to the, the work being done by the fluid. Okay, but this we're nearly there. So this is this is three over two times dp by dt uh, plus five halves coefficients of p u. And this whole thing is just minus u dot grad p equals zero. Okay, so now we've got an equation just for u um, in terms of again the attraction of velocities. Um, and this again could be called the primitive form of the, of the energy equation because it's written in terms of, of the pressure. Um, so again there are, there are many different ways of writing this out. Um, one quite common way is to write this uh, is to split some of these components up um, and so we can write basically this component here um, so five halves uh, p sorry divergence of so five halves divergence of PU, which is taking this term here. Um, this we can split up into two pieces again. So it's three halves uh, divergence of PU. And then we can take the other divergence of PU term and split up into two pieces. So we can write this as a, um, a U dot grad P term and a P divergence of U term. So this all comes from, from there. And you see that in, in this equation, um, this u dot grad p cancels this u dot grad p. Um, and so we just end up with an equation which has three halves, this factor here. So we have three halves. And here we have a dp by dt um, from this term here. And then this term gives us the three halves divergence of pu. And then these two terms just give us a term which looks like p times of u is zero. Okay, so that's another way of writing um, writing the the fluid equations. Uh, another way, or final way, we look at now is it's the Lagrangian form, um, and this is just a slightly different way of writing out this this term here. So we can again split this up. Um, this, is this term. We can split this up as this is this divergence of u times a pressure um, plus u dot grad p. And so we write this part here um, as the area of 3 over 2 over okay, dp by dt. Um, this gives us u dot grad p. That's u dot grad p. And if I now separate this p times divergence of u part out, so I end up here with a plus three halves uh, p times divergence of u. I then have this other part here, 
which comes down. So plus p divisions of u equals zero. And so of course these these combine together, um, and this gives us a five halves p. Um, so here this together gives us five halves p times divisions of u. And so we take the the three halves here, multiply through, and so we just end up with um, with dp by dt plus u dot prime p equals now five five thirds plus five thirds p divisions of u equals zero. Okay, that's another useful form of this equation. So here we have have the pressure written in terms of, of this. So we have dp by dt plus u dot grad p. And then here, this is this is partly the, the advection or the motion of the, of the fluid and partly the, the work being done by the fluid. And we do the same trick for the other equations. So we have a, a pressure equation here. Um, but here we also have a uh, equation here. So you see this du by dt by dt plus u dot grad u. Um, and so we can write out all the equations in the same same form. So we can write down um, for the momentum for the mass equation, for example, we can write down to u by dt uh, plus u dot grad grad rho, um, and this is equal to minus rho times divergence of u. So I just split up the divergence of u times rho into two pieces. Um, we already have this form for the, the momentum equation, so we have du by dt uh, plus u dot grad grad u. This is the momentum equation, and this is minus grad p divided by rho, so just taking the rho over, over this other side. Um, and then finally we have the, the term, we've, the equation we've just derived for the, for the pressure. And so we have dp by dt plus u dot grad p is minus this five thirds. So we have a, a d p by dt plus u dot grad p. And then here we have a uh, is five thirds p divisions of u. Oop, divisions of u. Yeah, no minus. Okay, and this is a quite useful form of the equations. So this together um, is the basically Lagrangian form. Um, <clears throat> you see on the left hand side, these terms all, all have the same form. So they have a, a d by dt of, of rho, u, and p, plus this term here, which is the adv advection of u dot grad of the same quantity. Then here we have terms on the right hand side, um, and now this, these on the right hand, on the left hand side here, these are called the the convective derivative. So these are convective convective derivatives. So we have that d d by dt plus u dot grad. Um, this is written in several different ways, but we can write it here as d by dt. And what it means, this has, has two components. So one is partial d by dt. So this is the change if you're at a fixed location in space. It's the change with time. And then this second component is the change in space at, at a fixed time. So together, what this means is this is the change in a quantity as you follow the fluid. So if you have a fluid which is flowing, so you have flow velocity, you have some kind of fluid flow. You can consider a parcel of, of, of or an element of, of fluid, uh, which has some pressure and some and some density and some velocity. Um, and as this moves of the fluid, the fluid is, is flowing along these, these lines here. So it's ending up over here, for example. So the fluid flows. This is on the right hand side, this is how the, the density, the, the velocity and the pressure change if you follow the fluid. Um, and this is very useful in cases where you want to have um, where you want to have a, a grid, for example, in computational methods where you have a, 
a grid which is following the fluid, you can make your grid follow the fluid and just essentially just solve the terms on the right hand side. So this is the, the changes as you follow the fluid. Um, and this can be, let's say, very useful in, in some computational methods. Okay, so hopefully this has shown you some different ways of writing the Euler equations. So we've seen at the very beginning we had, um, had these, these conservation forms um, where everything is in terms of a divergence of a flux. So we have a, a flux of, of mass, flux of momentum, and fluxes of, of energy. Um, then we have a, the so-called primitive forms where we write things in terms of, of flow velocities and, and pressures. Uh, which is this, this term is down here like this. So we write everything in terms of pressures and, and velocities. And then finally we have the convective, uh, convective derivative Lagrangian forms where we write everything in terms of the change as you follow the fluid. Um, and all these, these forms are, are different uses. Um, but I hope you'll see that these are all, these are all just variations on the same, same ideas. Okay, thank you very much. See you next time.